everybody, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media, and today I'm gonna to bring you another video in our S550 series here. Uh, we just supercharged Mystique, the S550. Um, for those of you who haven't watched any of the videos, we put a supercharger on her, took her to the track. She went 1050 at 135. Uh, it was on a fairly lowish boost. We, we could put a little more boost into it. It'll probably go a little faster. And with a little more uh, work, a little bit better 60 foot time, we'll get that down as well. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go weigh the car. Um, so this is a 2020 GT. It's a 401A premium car. So it's got the dash and everything, the, the nice dash, uh, leather seats, of course. It is not a performance pack car. It is just a regular GT non-performance pack. It's got the 315 rear gear. Um, it does have DSS 800 horsepower axles in it and it does have the ESS supercharger um, We also have a rear seat delete in the car. So we're gonna take it up to the local scale. There's a cat scale uh, Not too far up the road We're gonna run up there put it on the scale and see what it weighs in at uh, Right now. It's got about a half a tank. It's probably gonna burn a little bit of fuel Obviously to get up there. We're maybe 20 25 miles away so it's gonna run a little bit of fuel. So this is gonna be with a little bit less than half a tank of gas and myself in the car. There's really nothing else in the car that um, shouldn't be there. So this is pretty much how the car would run. It is also on some Forge Star D5s, skinnies in the front and beadlocks in the back. And so we're gonna see how the car, what the car weighs as it sits right now. So stay tuned.
accept. It's going to communicate with the thing. Uh, yep, we're going to accept that. And there we are. And we're going to accept that. 1250, that's fine. Accept. So there you can see, there's the weight, 4,040 pounds. And uh, so basically, it's kind of one to go over everything again. I guess I'll turn you guys so you can see my face. Um, so this is a 401A car. It um, is not a performance pack car at all. It does uh, have the 315 gear. It has, does have a rear seat delete. It's got DSS axles. It's got the ESS supercharger. And there's nothing extra in here that it's, you know, no, no uh, spare tire, nothing like that, nothing else in here that would add any weight. And with me, I am 200 and, you know, 60 ish pounds or so. So 4,040 pounds as the car sits ready for basically to go to a race. Um, that is with about a half a tank of gas, which is probably about what I would have in it at the track, maybe a little bit less than that. Uh, but you don't want to go too too much less on the gas just you don't want to have any sloshing issues where it sloshes away from the pickup uh, probably wouldn't happen but you never know um, so that's kind of where we're at so basically as i've said in other videos it's a four thousand pound car so trying to drag race a four thousand pound car with a person in it which is not easy to do um, and for those of you who have watched you know my other videos on the fox body that i own that car with me in it is like 3240 so this car is literally 800 pounds more than that car is um which yeah 800 pounds doesn't sound like a, a whole whole lot but it is it's enough it's a lot harder to get you know another 800 pounds moving down the track um than it is to get you know 800 pounds less so that is why the lighter the car the faster it's going to go and the less parts you're going to break um so that's kind of basically all I wanted to do was go over that. Um, I'm going to kind of think about it on the drive home, see if there's anything I missed or left out, and we'll close the video off and finish the video up once I get back to the house. All right? Hey, guys. I'm back with you. It's a couple days later, and I've had a little bit of time to kind of marinate on what we discovered. And basically just my final thoughts are um, pretty much exactly what I said, have, have said all along. These cars are heavy. You know, I expected it to be 4,000 pounds with me in it. Um, as it sits uh, and I, that's why you know I, I decided not to do an all-out build on this car it's just it's so hard on a 4,000 pound car to get them to go fast you've got to make tons and tons of power and that tons and tons of power tends to break parts tends to break engines it breaks drivetrain components it just it's hard to do um, not to mention if you want to lighten the car the only way to lighten the car really is to get rid of some of the amenities that the car has and i didn't want to do that either i like the car the way it is i like having in this car i like having air conditioning and the heated and cooled seats and that kind of stuff so for me personally this is going to be like like i've said my street car you know maybe eventually we'll put a fuel system on it put e85 in it turn it up a little bit um but for right now the car is perfect the way it sits you know i still need to get it back to the track put a small little bit smaller pulley on it a little more boost see what it'll do but for right now you know 1050 car is perfect so i just kind of wanted to bring you this little video show you guys the weight of the car this is with the ess supercharger like i said um and i think i mentioned before the the car stock without me in it was like 37 
40, I want to say. So the, basically the way the math works out is the supercharger and everything is about 60 pounds. The way the car sits right now is 60 pounds heavier than it was stock, which makes sense because you're adding supercharger, intercooler, piping, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, so with that being said, guys, give me a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, you know, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys like with the channel, you know, what kind of stuff you guys want to see. And with that being said, I'm going to take off and we'll see you later. Keep it boosted. <laughs>